Another cleft palate puppy means another opportunity to demonstrate how to properly feed them. This information is important to share because many vets may suggest euthanasia, when in reality, most cleft palate puppies just need to be tube fed for the first few weeks before they can eat and drink like any other puppy. Here's a video of our to 30 m feeding routine. Before feeding her, I have to stimulate her to go to the bathroom. The whole process takes about 4 minutes, and we do this around 10 times a day. It's not a huge commitment to save a life, and I'm always happy to assist breeders or rescuers with these special puppies. We need more people to take responsibility for them and not give up on them so easily. At M this morning, the cleft palate puppy learned to howl. She'll be four weeks old on Thursday, and she's doing well despite being delayed. She started growling a few days ago, but she's always been a quiet puppy until she woke me up in a panic, three minutes before the alarm went off. She weighs 14.5 ounces, which is smaller than average for her age, so we're still feeding her every to minus 2.5 hours during the day and every 3 hours or 2.57 this morning at night. Now she's becoming a typical, feisty puppy and it's a bit of a challenge. I'm trying to wean her, but she's not interested in food and fights the tube during feedings. We've decided to name her Remy Ratatouille. While it's great to get more sleep now, feeding her takes much longer.
We'll keep you posted on Remy's progress in our upcoming videos. We also have many adorable puppies that you can follow and support. Be sure to subscribe, so you never miss our latest updates.